of all of the five civilized tribes, the Seminoles' transition to life in the West was the most arduous. Arriving as a ragtag group, essentially captured as prisoners during the Second Seminole War, the Seminoles came late to the Indian Territory and found themselves in a strange new world. Initially forced to live under Creek rule and denied their own right of self-determination, the Seminoles struggled to adapt to the political, cultural, and environmental challenges set upon them in their new home. In addition to having to overcome the harsher climate and less abundant food sources, they had to wage a 10-year battle at home and in Washington against a federal Indian policy that was suppressing both their identity and their spirit. Finally, in 1856, the Seminoles won the right to establish their own government and settle their own lands in an independent nation in the West. Unfortunately, this was to be a short-lived victory. Five years later, the upheaval of the Civil War split not only the nation, but each of the tribes in the Indian Territory. In the aftermath of Reconstruction, the Seminoles were once again forced to relocate and rebuild their society. The least populated of the five tribes, the Seminoles were designated a small tract of land between the Canadian River and its North Fork. Here, on undulating hills and wooded plains, the Seminoles built a lasting home in the Indian Territory. They cleared land, erected cabins, grew crops, raised livestock, and formed communities. With stubbornness and determination, they overcame obstacles of man and nature to build a society of great cultural worth and prominence. Fred Beaver's The Quilting Bee celebrates late 19th century life in the Indian Territory. It depicts Seminole women gathered under a brush arbor sewing a quilt, a typical functional and social event of the period. A woman in the background prepares a meal in an iron pot over an open fire, which was the traditional method of cooking for native families. In the distance, a man can be seen sitting on the porch of the family cabin. The work is typical of Beaver's clean, vibrant style and highlights his most prominent subject matter, Seminole culture. Although Muscogee Creek and not of Seminole blood, Beaver said he painted Seminole imagery because he wished to be different from much of the native art painted during his lifetime.